Shana again. I promise you will not, I will not be the only teacher that you see, but I had so much fun with you guys yesterday that I wanted to do something again today. And I have a special little leprechaun helper with me this morning. This is Gracie. She's 10. She's mine. <laughs> and today is one of those days I'm very thankful I am a preschool teacher with millions of Play-Doh recipes committed to memory. Um, because even I have a 14 year old. Oh, hi, Callan. Hi, Callan. <laughs> I have a 14 and a 10 year old that may still play with dough and slime every single day. So all you're going to need this time is flour, salt, and water. And that is it. And I'll wait a minute while you grab it in a bowl and <coughs> a cup. Um, but I hope everybody's healthy out there getting outside. I know today's not so sunny, but our book yesterday said that any day can be magical. Even a rainy, yucky day can be magical. So try to get outside. Um, oh, Miss Maddie's watching. Hi, Miss Maddie. All right, so for this easy salt dough, you need two cups of flour, which we already measured because we wanted to make sure we had enough. So two cups of flour right into here. And then next you're gonna need one whole cup of salt. And this is stuff you probably already have at your house. Although I did go to the store yesterday and I got the last bag of flour, which I thought was weird. So a whole cup. Callan says, hi Gracie. Take a little while. Hi, Bats family. She's going to fill it right to the top. One full cup. Auntie's watching. Say hi, Auntie. Hi, Auntie. One full cup. <laughs> hi, guys. And if anybody caught a leprechaun out there last night, I really um, I need to hear about it. That's all right. We'll dump this in. One cup. That's it. And then one cup of water. So two cups flour, one cup salt, one cup water, and we colored it green, green. for St. Patrick's Day. For St. Patrick's Pour Day. Day. And we're going to add that slowly in and mix. <laughs> you want to do that? And if you guys make this today, I want to see what you make with it. All right, so she's going to stir that. This is really easy. I know there's other doughs out there where you can bake them and things like that. This one's not fancy at all. And you have all this stuff for it. And I find it works pretty well, too. Hi, guys. Ah, hi, Brody. <laughs> and it's nice and green. I'm sorry you can't see it. It's a lovely shade of green right now. She's going to keep stirring. So after we mix it, we like to use, um, like, little cars in it or dinosaurs or action figures or princesses, whatever you have. And you can also obviously use them with cookie cutters. And if you use cookie cutters, you can put a little hole in your, your Play-Doh concoction and make like an ornament or like a hanging or something like that. And if it's a little too sticky, just add a little bit more flour. Ours is a little too sticky. That's it. And then this is where we're going to use our hands. Roll them up. And that's it. I hope you guys get outside today, do something fun. Moms and dads, I know we don't want to be on devices and electronics all day, but I do know a lot of um, like children books authors are getting online and doing a lot of stuff live. Mo Williams, who writes like the Piggy and Gerald books, he's been doing something called Lunchtime Doodles. He gets on live at noon and does like a how to draw like his characters from his book. Um, we watched him yesterday and lots of stuff like that. All right, we'll take it out. Here it is. Easy, super easy Play-Doh. And even at 14 and 10, my children will play with this. So, and it's really easy to have all this stuff at home. All right, my friends. Today at four, Miss Karen's going to get on and do, and I'm sorry you couldn't see this better. I swear, I'm going to get more tech savvy as these, these videos keep going. Hi, Linda. Um... But we will be posting videos today, 4 o'clock today. Miss Karen, who is honestly like my science expert, will be getting on to do a kitchen experiment. Um, and we have a few surprises lined up for tomorrow as well. Nice and green for St. Patrick's Day. So make sure you come back at 4 today and check it out. Guys, say bye. Bye. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. Get outside. Read lots of books. I want to hear what you guys are doing. We want to hear you doing post cool pictures of what you make today with the, your dough. Um, and we'll see you all very, very soon. We miss you terribly. Bye. Whoops.
whoopsies. <laughs> Sometime today I'll figure this out. Should